Hey, Heather. This is Eric. Sorry for some of the noise. I'm walking my son. Mm. I know you always bitch about people who call outside, and I'm one of them. Yeah. So I apologize. All right. I need some advice from my Aunt Heather. I don't know. I guess this is an absolutely not, but my wife's ex-boyfriend just moved into our neighborhood around the block. Now, we're mid-30s. This was when she was like 20 to 22, but it was like a two, three year relationship. All right. Like, this is weird. I'm going to run into him, I bet. Our kids are kind of the same age. What does Aunt Heather suggest? Mm. Like, there's no bad blood. Yeah. But it's just strange. If I say him, do I say, hey, you knew my wife? It's just weird. Yeah. Give me some advice. Avoid at all costs. That's probably what I'm, that's probably what I'm about to do. All right. Love you, Heather. Hey, Eric, love you. I'm so glad you're taking the kids out. You know, I'm sure that they're excited for that cool fall breeze. So I love, great great dad, Eric. Uh, Major brownie points, blowjobs across the board for Eric. Okay, here's the thing. I have never, I had a bad ex from college. And again, this is a person who I thought was my boyfriend. He did not feel the same way. But everybody else also thought he was my boyfriend. But again, at no point did this human being think that he was tied up to me. But everybody, all of his fraternity brothers thought he was tied up. All of my sorority sisters, everybody else except him thought he was booed up. So anyways, whatever. No hard feelings. Guy's a douche. Whatever. I would see him sometimes at at games or whatever. And I'd like go right up to him. No ill will. Like we're all adults here. Um, you know, and listen, this past weekend, I was seeing people that I absolutely gave a couple handies to, and we were laughing about it. We were having, we were having a laugh, you know, and my husband's standing there and I was like, Jeff, I'm so sorry. And he's like, Hey, you had to do what you had to do to be cool in high school. I'm like, exactly. And also just want to throw this out there. If anybody's listening to this and you are younger, you absolutely do not have to do anything sexual to anybody to seem cool. Okay. I volunteered. I just had very strong hands, and it was a ton of fun for me as well. So completely consensual. Anyways, um, I think you have the power, Eric, if you go up and, hey, man, what's up? Dab them. What do guys do? Da- you know, a little, little ASMR for you. Dab them. Dab them. Do the little bro thing. Bring them in for a hug. What's up? What's your name? Tyler. Tyler. Great to meet you. You've heard great things. How are you? Oh, man, you got kids. No, I think you lean in. You don't avoid. Because if you avoid, it's going to seem like you're a little intimidated. You you lean in. Doesn't mean you got to be boys with him. Doesn't mean you got to be anything. Maybe you roll up the first time you guys meet in a pair of gray sweatpants and you just let him know that that dong is large, it is loose, and it's flopping around this neighborhood. I think you got to flex a little. I think you got to install some sort of Bowflex gym system in your garage and keep that garage door open on a cool day. And you're just, you know, you're hitting it. You're working on the traps. You're getting yoked out. I think you have to let the other neighbors know that your dick runs this neighborhood. If he's three doors down, at some point he's also going to be walking his kids in the neighborhood. And he needs to see you working that bench press. You know, maybe you just set up some ladders outside the house. You don't have to get on them. I would suggest not getting on them. But kind of like, you know, if you see him coming around the bend, run to the bottom of the ladder and just be like, oh, you know me, fixing shit at the house. Like, you need to let him know that your girl married the fuck up. And it's living well is the best revenge. You're not, you don't have to be rude to him. You don't have to deal with them. You're just dropping subtle hints that your life is significantly better than his. That is what it's all about. It's not about getting revenge. It's not about popping off fuck you. It's just slowly and surely doing things, (laughs) whether or not you know how to work out, whether or not you're physically fit, whether or not you even know how to put a nail to a hammer. You just make him think that you're the whole fucking package, okay? It is that fucking easy. All right, again, the subtle things that you can do to just automatically elevate you if you're trying to get like a gentle revenge or a gentle little intimidation, it doesn't hurt anybody, you know, get a spray tan. Spray tans automatically make you look, it make you go from looking like, does he have influenza to just got back from Ibiza? Period. And men need to quit shying away from the spray tan. You don't have to go, you know, DEFCON 10 
do a light mist. I think setting up a Bowflex at the end of your driveway or right in your garage is one of the most big dick energy things you can do. You know, and you can't be blasting weird music. You can't, you know, make it cool. Put on a little Dr. Dre. Like, you're just out there doing some curls, working on the lats, you know, doing some chest pumps while he's walking his kids. And you're like, what's up, man? Yeah. (laughs) You know, you know about Dre. (laughs) You know, and just in a pair of gray sweatpants, just let that dong rock around the neighborhood a little bit. Just do it. It's harmless. But I don't think you avoid him. You're not going to avoid him. And I think it's kind of fun. You know, and if you, and if also if you do a couple of these things, your wife may even be like, okay, okay, Eric. Okay, Eric with the spray tan and the bow flex. And she may have a, a complete new wave of just horniness for you. And I'm not saying, you know, change anything about yourself, but these can be subtle things. I mean, fuck, you could have a, a spray bottle full of some sort of waxy glycerin, the stuff that they use in the, in the movies, and just kind of th- 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 a couple spritzes across the face. You go back into the house, you're like, man, hey, babe, I just ran into Eric. I mean, I just ran into Tyler. Um, nice guy. Nice guy. And then you walk away. You don't say anything more. You don't say anything disparaging about him to your spouse because she already knows he's a douche. You know what I mean? She already knows. That's why she's with you because you're rocking that bow flex, gray sweatpant, big dick energy. You don't let her know that you're concerned about it. Hell no. 